I love working with you at Fitter and Faster Clinics. You know, it, it frustrates me sometimes when people um, see that there's going to be a blind swimmer leading a clinic and they think to themselves, how is this possible? And then we get the reviews back after the clinic and they say, oh, Tucker's the, the, the best teacher we've ever had. I mean, it's just incredible. Uh, I mean, you do, when you're at a clinic, you you can see people out, out the corners of your eyes and you can pick up on technique better than I can pick up on it sometimes you'll spot something and I'll be like, damn Tucker, that's, you know, so you've just found a way to see the things you need to see, I guess. Yeah. And I, I think that I always tell people at the beginning of like my uh, introduction at fitter faster, after I explain that I'm blind, I always joke around and I'm like, it's okay. Parents, you didn't waste your money. I can still see everyone. Your kids will still get the you know, same amount of attention as I normally would. Um, I think that, it's great to have that opportunity for kids to see like someone with a disability too of like, whoa, like he can't see, like, like you said, like I was complaining about not going to practice yesterday because I was tired or, you know, my shoulder hurt. And then this yeah. guy, I had all those things too, right? Like I wasn't immune to those things. I had shoulder pain, body pain, but I still had to check my disability at the door. Every practice, every swim meet, every time I came into the pool and and that's the best thing about our sport is that it's an even playing field. And, and I enjoy having the opportunity to take all this knowledge of swimming and give it back to our community and, and just really show people that like, I'm a person with a disability, even in that sentence, the word person comes first and, and treat me like that. And I'm going to give you all of my attention and make sure that you have a great swimming experience with us at Twitter and faster.